After the USM Auriga self-destructed on Earth's surface, and Betty barely made it, landing safely on a desolate desert. At least that's what it looked like. Ball shared her concerns about the military showing up after the crash. Ripley ate, still trying to gather her thoughts about Earth, and now that she is here, she is a stranger. They say, beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. Wayland Yutani never gave up searching for Ripley 8, and sitting idle was also something they never practiced. Their pursuit for developing the ultimate xenomorph specimen was the pretext to the end of humankind's rule on Earth. The year 2399 will usher a new beginning in military warfare for hybrid humanoid soldiers. Using the strengths of the xenomorph genes, while disregarding the likely hazards, Whale and Yutani Corporation would be creating the replacement of humankind. The engineers and now the humans will be the pioneers of their own annihilation. Ripley 8's time on Earth has not been easy. 18 years ago, she made it back. Even if it was as a clone of the original Ripley, she came back to a strange world. Gaul and Ripley 8 over time developed a mutual bond as allies, a union that would stand against Wayland Yutani and stop their advancements into xenomorph technology. They both knew one thing. They will have to face Wayland Yutani Corporation head on one day. Wasting no time, that which they could get, and between hiding and relocating, from Wayland Yutani, Ripley 8 gave Xenobiotech armor upgrades to Cole. While also developing Xenomorph Bio Skin armor for herself and the Resistance fighters, her ambitions will not go to waste because the fate of humanity was already knocking the gates of. But for them, Wayland Yutani Corporation came knocking first. And so, Destiny answered the door.